Hey everybody, this is A.D. Wheeler from the Explorographer.com and today I'm going to show you how to use your Lightroom presets in Luminar 2018. One of the new filters that you'll find in Luminar 2018 is the LUT file mapping. And basically a LUT file is a lookup table Normally, uh, you would probably see these in the video world where we'd actually use lookup tables to grade video. Uh, and you might ask yourself, well, why would I want to load in a file to grade my photo when I can just make all the adjustments in Luminar? And you'd be correct there, but there is something that you will want to use them for, and that's a way to get all of those Lightroom presets that you may have over into Luminar and use them there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, just to be clear what we're doing here, we're actually gonna be converting these presets that you would have in the develop module of Lightroom so that they can be used as lookup tables over in Luminar which is a very handy feature to have. I have a couple of looks in here that I developed that I really like, and I miss them in Luminar, and I want to have them over there. Uh, just to give you an idea of what these do to an image, here is one of my favorites called High Tension Fade Out. It's a very uh, vintage-looking uh, one-click thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to be used over in Luminar. And to do that, we're going to need a little app from a website. So I'm going to show you how to get that app and install it and we're going to use that app to convert a special file uh, that we can make these uh, lookup tables with. So let's go get the app that's going to be out on the net. So the website that you're going to want to visit is generator.iwltbap.com. I'll put that link in the description of the video and you're going to want to download their LUT generator for either your Mac uh, or your Windows machine. For this particular installation, I am using Windows. So I'm going to be downloading it for that. When you click the button, it'll bring you down here and this fancy kind of thing. And then you just click the download LUT generator. You can pay what you want here, by the way. And uh, you know, so if you find this useful, I highly suggest you throw the guy five or 10 bucks. It's well worth it. When you click on the buy now button, uh, it will give you a download link and you in generate your email in there and that will download through an email. Once you get the email, you basically click on the link and download the app and install it. All right, I've gone ahead and installed this just on my desktop and you're going to see all these folders under here and of course pick your operating system and go. We're going to select LUT generator and then we have the LUT generator here. We're going to double click on that and that's going to bring up this little guy right here. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the generate HALD. And this is going to make a specific file that we need to bring into Lightroom so that we can make these LUTs. So go ahead and click that. It's going to ask you where you want to install it. I'm going to put it on my desktop right where I found this file. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go into Windows, hit OK. And you can see that when I clicked that, it went ahead and made this little neutral PNG file. I'm going to leave this window open, by the way, and move it off to the side because we're going to open up Lightroom. We've got Lightroom here in the background. And in Lightroom, you're going to go to your library and click Import. You're going to want to go to your desktop. So right where you uh, opened up that file. For Windows, it's kind of crazy to get to, but it's in your username and then Desktop. And then the LUT file folder right there. And Windows. Boom. All right. So that's what your file should look like when you see it. So you surf to it. It's this really weird looking file, right? Um, but it's, uh, it's really key to making these uh, happen. And then we're just going to put it into a subfolder. So I'm going to, I've already put mine in LUTMaker, but I'm going to put it in LUTMaker 2 just to keep things. Uh, sane here so we're going to go ahead and import that all right we now have our file here in lightroom so the next thing to do is go into the develop module and then we're going to select this high tension fade out all right and click on it and you can see it alters the colors here that's all we want to do is just click that one thing now remember that things like uh blur and 
camera profiles and all that stuff, that does not carry over in the LUT file and you should not basically expect that to. This is toning only. So it's gonna carry over uh, things like uh, highlights and shadows and so on and so forth and, and uh, HSL settings. So make sure you're not expecting too much uh, from this. This is to kind of grade the image. So I went ahead and selected the high tension fade out and now I wanna export this file. So back to the library, hit the export button now I've already saved a preset called LUT save, all right? And I've got a folder to put this in and everything. Here's some very important things. You should set your file naming to rename to custom name and then you can put what the name of the actual LUT is. So this is high tension fade out, okay? And then scroll down to where it says file settings. We're going to save it as a JPEG, sRGB, very important here, quality 100%. And the other setting that's super important is the resolution needs to be set to 72 PPI. If you don't do this, uh, it won't load properly. Okay, so we want to convert this to a cube file so we can load it up. And that's very crucial. So I'm going to go ahead and export. And our file goes out pretty quick there. Now what I like to do after I export is actually go back into the develop uh, module and reset this file so it goes back to normal because we don't want to stack our presets and do that kind of stuff when we make more of these because you're going to save these out. Um, we've got one here, let's see, Insta Autumn, we can do that one real quick. So I'll go through it really quickly again and you can see how I did it. Uh, back to library, export, let's change the name to Insta autumn all the other stuff is saved because i saved it as a preset whoops and export and there we go so i've got two that i saved out all right let's bring back our uh, lut generator this time we're going to convert to cube and i'll click on that and i'm going to open up the folder to where i sent those files so that was photo distro and then web and 2017 LUTs. Hopefully yours will be a lot easier. And we're gonna see two files in here, high tension and Insta Autumn. So I think you can select both of these and then hit open. And it, it will go ahead and convert both of those. So you could do a whole bunch of these if you wanted to, to make it easy. So it's converting the second file now, it's pretty fast. And there we go, conversion is all done. So if I look in that folder now, I should be able to see those two items. Okay, so here we go. I've got the Insta Autumn Cube and a bunch of other ones that I did earlier and the high tension fade right there. You can see those two cube files have worked out perfectly. So let's open up Luminar again and see what these look like. All right, so let's load the LUT file. High tension fades right here. Remember that faded out look? Perfect, it's the exact look. And then if the Insta Autumn, which is gonna be a little rough on the eyes at first, Insta Autumn makes everything into Autumn, which is kind of cool. We can turn down the saturation just a little bit. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. You can convert your presets from Lightroom over to Luminar 2018 with the new LUT mapping filter and a few little tools. So make sure you check the description. I'll have all the information down there on the files that you need. And I am actually doing a full Luminar 2018 training course over on my Patreon site at thecreators.com. That's uh, T-H-E-C-R-E-A-T-O-U-R-S.com. And if you go over there for as little as a dollar a month, you can subscribe and support my channel and you're gonna have access to a full course on Luminar from beginning to end. And we're gonna do it live, and so you can actually, uh, you can watch it live, or it'll be available for you to download as well, but you can ask questions if you attend the live versions um, for as little as a dollar a month. So uh, make sure you check that out. That uh, link will be down in the description below as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm AD. I'll see you guys in the next one.